So today we'll um, make a story. Uh, you have seen the video that you know it's a bear and two friends story uh, when they visited the jungle, right? So uh, let's try to make the story in scratch. Um, first, we'll have to do the story planning, and you know, as part of the story planning, we'll have to. Um, you know set the background uh, this is the background so we'll have to set the background of the forest uh, which needs to be scroll as well I mean that's what we will learn in this uh, animated uh, story making in scratch today we will have to choose the sprites uh, here uh, to be precise the background is also uh, not the scratch backdrop but the sprites itself and we will see that um, you know uh, in our subsequent slides that you know how we are choosing or making a sprite which uh, which would scroll right uh, we'll have to choose these characters uh, every um, then um, Jamie and the bear of course we'll have to do the coding and the coding would involve background scrolling uh, making um, Avery and Jamie run climbing the tree and getting down so that's the part you have seen already in the video and then the position of Avery in the sleeping position as well as the upright position right so we will uh, go through all of that to start with uh, we'll have to do the background uh, you know selection and we'll have to choose multiple backgrounds so that you know we could scroll um, you know from right to left so these are the background sprites which are chosen and uh, you know uh, we will have to write the code to scroll between them right and we will we'll see the you know code for that uh, in the subsequent slides and we'll have to make the choice and all these sprites are already you know the background is there you you'll have to make the trees and things like that um, you know it should be fairly straightforward you should be able to do it all on your own uh, the tree creation one of the tree is already there you can choose it and then make the subsequent trees um, bigger size smaller size whatever it is um, for the two friends you know these uh, characters or the sprites are already there in scratch so you could choose that even the bear is there in scratch so that's how um, you know this uh, the scratch sprites and the background are chosen so let me take you through the project uh, you know I'll show you the sprites so look at this these are one two three these are the three background sprites you see it here yeah these are the three background sprites this is a character note that you know you would see the same character Jamie is here as well as Jamie is here so Jamie Jamie and Jamie 2 are the two sprites and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that you know this this sprite is only for walking look at the positions you know this is already available in scratch so you don't have to worry much um, you can of course make your own sprites so these are the walking position and similarly for every as well there are these are the walking positions so these are the two friends and why I have kept it separate is because uh, this would help me in quickly switch between the um, you know costumes so this is this is a single costume this is the next one so I could sequentially go switch between the costumes uh, and it gives a feeling it will give a feeling that you know uh, the character is walking so this is a simple piece of coding and that's the reason that it is kept separate and here is a bear bear also it's a you know it's a walking position a multiple walking position so that's that's how it's uh, you know you you would be able to make it run behind them um, okay behind the two fr uh, friends so these are about um, about the you know sprites now let's see that you know how do we do the coding for each of them um, 
before we start the crony i mean our primary objective is that you know those three background sprites um you know uh, they need to scroll so one after the other they should actually uh, you know come so that means to say uh, this is the screen of scratch um the center position is what is referred as a position um of a the center position of the sprite and what i mean by that is uh, this 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 approximately here is a center position right so uh, when i am saying x position is minus 163 135 that means this center point is minus 163 and minus 165 point right so that's how um, this is done and this center point is with reference to this center point where it is positioned right so the center point of the sprite uh is positioned here the bear was somewhere here right so similarly um, so this is the overall size it is plus 180 that is a y axis is and minus 180 is the bottom of the y axis similarly x axis is 240 on the right and minus 240 on the left so if i have to have two images of uh, placed side by side then the center of the next image of the same size would be at 240 points from this edge so that means between the two center points the distance or you know yeah the distance between them is 240 plus 240 that is 480 units this is a mathematical calculation that you will have to remember all right this would help in doing the subsequent um, you know uh, calculations or you know subsequent coding for uh, making the sprites scroll now what i meant by that this is the first sprite uh, sorry first uh, yeah first sprite first background sprite second background sprite and third background sprite the center point of this one and the center point of this one it should be one after the other and what we are going to do is scroll left it should not come out as a blank in the middle right so uh, we will have to position it appropriately the center point from this one center point from this one is 460 for 480 sorry right so now if you really see what uh, i am initially doing is that i am hiding the third slide i mean third sprite showing the first two but look at the position here it is 0 0 0 means center uh, center of the stage right now that is 0 0 for the next sprite it is look at it it is 460 i want some bit of overlap between the image and that's the reason i have not kept it as 480 but rather come close to 460 and these are very small uh, unit changes so it will not make big distortion on the image when it is when it shows up right so it's 460 points away so first image comes right on the stage the next image comes 460 points away from the center point of the stage right now what we are doing is we are moving this sprite by three steps at a time look at it three steps at a time and how many times we are going to do this look at it if you multiply 153 with 3 it would come somewhere close to 460 right 153 is a 45 uh, 460 now for uh, you know so 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 this would move keep moving for till it comes this center point goes all the way till here it will keep moving and what it is doing it is just moving it it keeps moving and this also keeps moving so that means to say once this goes uh, hides out the other one appears automatically and goes to the center of the screen right now look at it once it reaches uh minus 460 that is the first sprite goes to the minus 460 that is almost 460 points away that means 
the sprite is completely now out of the stage i'm making this the same sprites x position as 460 points away here that means as soon as it goes out of the stage it comes here on the right side of the stage so that now the sequence is first this would of course be there at the at the beginning then this the sprite would scroll in and again the first sprite will scroll in after that and after the computer look at it so this is this set x position to 460 is done here it's again done here for this one so once this also goes to 460 it again comes back so these two screens or these two sprites would come one after the other for twice and once it is covered twice from this side look at it there is a message which is sent this is message one and this message one is received here by the third sprite now after scrolling for twice i want the third sprite to come in picture and what would be the exposition of that again 460 i want this to start at 460 and then slowly scroll in because i want this edge to be almost here and then slowly it gets in right and how long should it go till the x position becomes zero that means till it comes to the center and it gets stationary there and that's where the scrolling of the three sprites uh, you know happens let's take a quick look uh, how this is actually happening i'll show you the code uh, of course we have taken a look at the code already Right. So let me just quickly play this. Look at it. This is the second sprite, and this is the final sprite. Right. And there, there is like we'll take a look at the rest of the ones. So now we'll have to make the sprites run. We just saw the running sprite, right? So we'll have to make it run um, like this. Uh, and in order for them to run all that we are doing is switching the costume so that the various positions are captured well so I'm scrolling or rather I'm switching between uh, those costumes uh, this is what I was referring that you know why I kept uh, two sprites of Avery or two sprites of uh, Jamie the reason is that you know I just have to it's slightly easier or simpler to do the coding I what I do is just the next costume and it will keep repeating itself it goes uh, between the you know between the costumes of that and the same thing holds good even for Avery even for I mean sorry be, uh, Bear, Avery and Jamie you would notice one more interesting thing that is uh, the position of Avery and Jamie is actually stationary Though they are walking, it is just the background which is moving. However, for Bear, of course the background is moving. At the same time, it is coming closer to Avery and Jamie. Right? So, there is a movement and I'll show you one second. Right? So, let's do this. You see this? Uh, Bear is moving closer to Avery. While they are at the same position. Look at it, my arrow. It is at the same position. We'll start it once again. Look at this position. This position is same. But bear is starting from here and it is coming closer to it. And how we are achieving? Using these steps. So this is the step movement only for bear. Rest Avery and Jamie remain same. Right? So that's the interesting part. Now we'll take a look once once the bear reaches close to Avery then uh, you know Avery goes to sleep I mean she lies down on the on on, on the road on the floor um, and uh, Jamie climbs up right so how we are doing it we move the costume to uh, the sleeping position of Avery and let's take a quick look at that This is the second costume of Avery. 
is the upright position and the sleeping position lying down position so this is the um, you know lying down position of avery and uh, you know post this uh, uh, post post jamie climbs up now um, you know uh, we will wait i mean uh, the code will wait till the bear is gone so bear walks away right so we will see this quickly the bear is going to walk away so once it goes till the end then jamie comes down right so this is the piece of code so once the bear is out of the scene and the piece of the code is here um So after this, uh, look at it. It is walking away. Uh, the bear is walking away. It trots for two times, you know, some time, and then it walks away. So once it is done, it hides itself and says, sends a message, bear gone. Right? So bear gone is a message which is received here as well as here. Right? So once the message is received, then Avery stands up, goes to the upright position, whereas uh, you know Jamie, you know, comes down from the tree, glides down to the from the tree, right? And then they have this conversation, like uh, you know, when uh, you know what was Bear saying and things like that. Right? So that's how these messagings are done. So now let's take a look what all we learned in this. Um, uh, while making this uh, scratch animation story uh, one is a scrolling background second is uh, making sprites to run uh, switching between the costumes that's what we did sequencing through the messaging uh, you know various messages one after the other uh, once the message is sent uh, it is received um, you know wherever whichever the sprite wants to receive can receive the message and then act upon it we note we saw how uh, the character glides there is uh, there is a command to glide up i mean we did that gliding from uh, you know one position to the other position and here is a food for thought uh, you could actually make you could take this project you can add sound to this the roaring of bear or avery and jamie you know shouting at each other run run there is a bear coming behind us right so you can add those sound we i would love to hear back from you um you know how your project goes and would love to see that as well do uh, you know comment on this uh, you know uh, comment on this video and i would love to see your video as well uh, here is a link of the, this project. Uh, you can go to Scratch. You can take this link. It is also there in the description video, uh, description of this video. Uh, you can go to this and take this project uh, your own way. You can take the project and add the sound or whatever the enhancements that you would want to do. Please feel free to do that. Share me with your version of the story. I would love to see that. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me and i'll be happy to clarify if you have any questions and would love to hear your suggestions that how uh, you know i could improve here something that you would want to know from me right please share please like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you so much bye bye